All right, we are good to go. We are good to go with Mortal Shell. Session numero tres. I said it like that on purpose, numero tres. Hey, hey I got the Spanish. Let's go ahead and get started here. Um, it's not even nine yet. I'll fire up the game and we can like, I don't know, do something. Um, just, uh, you know, little stream continuing Mortal Shy. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, last episode, I really got into this game. I am liking this game now a lot. It's, it's fun. It's fun. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, oh, this is where I was. Yeah, I was doing this. I got the new weapon, which is kind of shitty. It's not shitty, but I don't like it. Or it's not good with this character, maybe. So I think what we're gonna do is while people okay dodge just straight up didn't work while people join this is probably gonna take a while i will backtrack to the starting area and probably switch back my weapon i'm sure we need to go here and like there's stuff beyond here and again i'm sure we need to actually do that Fuck. Maybe this is nice for like controlling crowds or something. I guess that would be the the idea behind this weapon. But I don't know. Oh wait, there is a shortcut here. Yeah. We don't actually need to backtrack that much. God is holding it weird. This is a weird weapon. Oh fuck. Oh, the, there was a trap there. I was like, what am I taking damage from? But is the amazing trap ahead? Fuck. Man, these this game and its traps. Get in there. Let me check if I'm actually live. I am actually live. Okay. Just no one's watching. Wonderful. I'm only kidding. It just went out. Hey, Ismo. <laughs> you know, it takes a while though. Yeah, you're right. Anyways, not haven't done anything so far. Just backtracking because... I wanna... Even when I'm trying to avoid the traps, I cannot avoid the traps. You know how it is. Uh, okay. So we'll come up here. And we'll swap... <laughs> we'll definitely swap out to this weapon. Um, this is the superior chaddy weapon. Uh, let's see what happens. I can get this ability, but what I want to check is I want to I want to look at this guy cuz I want to use him for a little bit. He has I have a lot of glimpses with him. So we can get something good. Duration of time enemies remain hardened when you're separated from Solomon is increased. So that's a good one. This NPC one I'm not so sure about. Solomon, yeah. I wanted to stick with Solomon and this other dude. 
uh, becomes familiar with items quickly. Uh, put your enemies off balance with a powerful kick. No, 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 no. Haven't made like that much progress. I'm picking up the weapons and shit. Oh wait, this is I almost picked the wrong ability. I think I'll get this one. I think this is a good one. So I'm going for all the weapons and all the characters and then we can like see what's going on, you know, down the road. At least that's my idea. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's check out this weapon. I don't remember where to. Oh, my nose is itching. This one is... Okay, that's where it is. I know where this is. We good. What is it? This is like a big like broadsword or something like that. I'm kind of interested in it. Let me see if there's a way to not take fall damage. There isn't. This game has like some Dark Souls 2 ass fall damage. That's for sure. This weapon is so much better. Shit. The parry is very satisfying, I do have to admit. I want to get this weapon. This one I'm especially interested in because you know I like my I like my great swords. It's like gonna be some Zweihander ass weapon. Fuck! I wasted my stamina. It's too late. Bit too late on the harden. You get a lot of iframes in this game. Like, this game is very generous, I gotta admit. Pop rat. Trying to hear if there's a storm coming outside. There might be. How's everybody doing? By the way. See, this might be a bad idea because I'm gonna get followed, aren't I? I think we can manage. But maybe not, like the aggro range seems weird sometimes on the enemies oh fuck see I didn't think he would aggro I think I might have gotten myself into some trouble here listen I'm a professional souls gamer don't even get on my level Easy. Easy, easy. Pop a shroom. And we can have a look around this area. Glimpse. Actually, I should be using these glimpse items a little bit more often. What? 
Oh fuck, are you kidding me? Shit. Well, this is unexpected. Hold on. Fuck, where is the cable? Ah. God damn it. I think the cable is here. I got this, don't worry. But am I gonna actually... This is a short-ass cable. Well, you know what, whatever. What's the point of having two controllers if you're not going to use them, right? We're back in action, boys. This is Twitch, you know, live. Just how it is. How it is sometimes. I was genuinely not paying attention to that. And that's where we came from. There's like, I'm not doing this by any logic, by the way. Just kind of going around, seeing what's where. I'm just thinking of whether I should not, not just go into the building. Because might, this might be just like a side area. Never gonna get used to the fact that, you know, uh, fucking R2 is the jump attack in this game. Or like the running attack. I'm gonna kill this guy with it. I thought I was gonna do more damage though. It's a nice animation, this jump. See, I have a feeling that this is just kind of something that loops around. What up, boys? That was not a good idea. Expert level parry. Go for the kill. That was not an expert level parry. I'm eating them rats like crazy, you know. Yeah, this does just loop back around. Whatever. Glimpse. At least there's items here. I saw it that time. Amazing trap ahead. Hey Dallas, what's up, man? Long time. Did I just get killed? I know. Oh, I see how this works. Doing good, doing good. I was playing some Moron Shell. That's the name of this game. Like Moron Combat, but this is Moron Shell. Anyways, this is Mortal Shell. Souls like. Yep, yep, trying it. It's good. Having fun. I think why like why am I getting sidetracked? I this is clearly the intended path. It's good, you know. 
slow. That's the kind of main noticeable thing. But actually, I don't mind it too much. You know, you guys remember Lords of the Fallen. I, I've never played it, but came out a while ago. And that one was not so good. I didn't enjoy that one because it was slow, but maybe it, it has a lot to do with like other mechanics. I think. Oh, by the way, Bantic followed yesterday, so thanks for the follow. Okay, so hopefully this is going to abandon chamber. What up, girl? So she just like shows up randomly. Bonfire reference. You know, giant over exaggerated wink. Oh, so clearly, this is the catacombs. I like her way more than. I like her way more than any of the. Well, no, actually, I like the Emerald Herald. But I like this NPC lady, Anvil. Oh, ho. hold on, just a, one hot minute. So we need to get this weapon. This is how you get your weapons. You disrespect an old ass book. And then you die. It's just like a normal day, right? Hey, I have 500 views on Twitch. Just I hit 500. Just noticed. This Twitch views thing is kind of weird. Like, why is there like a cum cumulative... Cumulative? Can't even talk. Milestone, yeah. I'm still getting... Like, working towards the... Fucking... 100... 100 followers, you know. So once you get into the groove of this game, it's like... The combat is super enjoyable. Oh fuck, okay, I wasn't charged. You gotta be careful because you cannot heal with this guy. He's not a... Well, he's a boss, but he's like a different type of boss. Shit, I, I need to watch my stamina. I'll explain how it works, in case you don't know. Yeah, exactly. I maybe that's why you know. Actually, you're right. Maybe that's why I like it. Because every game seems to be going for the, you know, Sekiro, Neo, Bloodborne style, be super, super quick all the time type deal. Oh, 
Are you allowed to be knocked out of your shell against this guy? That I don't know. Oh fuck, is the water rising? You can be knocked out. Damn, I never noticed that the water rises. Okay, you have a second chance. Um, what the fuck was that? Oh, is that what happens when it rises? Like, okay, I've never, I'll be honest with you, this never happened. It's only my second time fighting this dude. Ah, shit! I got greedy. I got greedy. Fuck, I'm stupid. Hmm. That was my own fault. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not even that difficult though, that's the thing. The question is, do I respawn? Which lady do I respawn at? I think this lady right here, which means it's gonna be easy to get back. Oh, you just... okay. You just start from here again? No, don't call the worm fish. Ouch. Fuck. Okay, he's kicking my ass. Wonder if you can parry that. No, I think that's unparryable. Yeah, that's the main kind of. That's the gimmick of this game. Again, I'll explain the, how the combat works. Because now I'm getting it as well. Finally. Oh shit. Okay. Pretty sure that's parryable. Fuck. Okay, this buff I have where it there's like an extra time to get back into your shell is like really good. Andy. Thank you very much for the sub. Thank you, thank you. I'll thank you properly, just give me a sec because I need to kill this bitch. Okay, I'm not about to make the Whoa, he got like mega aggressive at the end. Okay, he's dead. Really appreciate it. It's all good, everything is good. Thank you for watching. I know, you're working nights. <laughs> Even if you can just pop by. This, this will be on YouTube anyways. 
uh you know how it is um thank you very much good to know that my name is green on my own twitch you know how it is so he just got ate by the fish all right and this means that martyr's blade holy shit look at this thing whoa okay all right i think i think i'm gonna like this weapon Look at him, he's like struggling to, it takes a shit ton of stamina though. One, two, three, four. I can imagine. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm liking this weapon. Yeah, I thought I had quenching acid. Whatever. Okay. So just a little explanation on how combat works in this game. So basic souls, you know, fair. Uh, you have heavy attacks, light attacks, dodge, you know, that's standard. Where this game isn't standard is that, first of all, there is no shield. You don't have a shield. You have a parry like normal. This is your parry. It works like... A normal uh, I can imagine like anybody who works just a side note anybody who works in healthcare or near and around healthcare shout out to you seriously so basically back to my little speech here uh, the parry works normally except do you see that little yellow thingy above my HP bar, those little meters? Each one, each time you use a parry, it takes one of those, uh, because parrying actually restores. Uh, I'm very happy that I can help relax. I always appreciate it when people say stuff like that. It's really, feels good, you know. Just like my stupid streams can have an impact. So, yeah, parrying takes the, that little, I don't know what bar it is, because it's like an ability meter, or like a mana meter, because you get HP back when you parry. But where the game gets interesting is with this mechanic. So this is called hardening. Yes, I know. Uh, on stream one, I've, I've cleared out all the jokes uh, around hardening. So anytime your little meter is filled up it's on the bottom right corner you see now it's coming back up it's coming back up and now i can harden again hardening makes you immune to everything literally everything it's like an ultra ultra parry so what you can do and i'll exit out of here because i want to go back to the initial area because I want to go for the uh, the last, last weapon. I'll show it in action in just a bit. One thing, again, this is one of the negatives about this game is the load times. They get kind of crazy. Um, but... As it was pointed out to me, this game was made by 15 people, so, you know, I am willing to excuse a lot of things. Because, you know, 15 people. So, here comes, here comes this dude. See, he's attacking Harden and his weapon just completely bounces off. Do you see that? And that's how you... Oh, fuck. Okay, that's how you parry in this game. Oh shit, I was already dead like that. Whatever. Maybe that was not the best demonstration. 
And the thing is, the cool thing about the hardening is that you can do it anytime. Like, seriously, any middle of your dodge, uh, during a swing with your weapon, whatever, you can just do it. So one of the cool tactics that I discovered, well, not that I discovered, but, you know, that was suggested, even by the game, I think. Oh, fuck, this is going to be like a double load time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, this is one of the negatives. Oh, it restarts you from here. See, what I can do is I can swing and harden in the middle of my swing. So I can parry the enemy attack and then let go and it'll still continue my swing. I think that's super cool. It's like a super interesting mechanic. And uh, the last thing about this game, in terms of dying, this game takes the Sekiro approach in that you saw there, uh, it happened to me I think during the boss fight previously that I got knocked out of my shell because uh, in this game you're like playing this weird uh, ghost skeleton dude and you are literally possessing the dead bodies of warriors hence hence the title you can tell that I in the past couple of days I've become a mortal shell there's the parry a mortal shell lore expert that's what I am what the hell is that did I just get bitten by a s oh, fuck I, think I just got poisoned does hardening protect against that though I think it does it just takes forever to run out Otherwise, again, the, the rest of the combat is fairly standard, you know, dodges. See, now you have hardened, and you can hold this down as long as you want. That's the cool thing about it. So it's not like a reaction thing, like a parry. It's more of like a tactical thing. See, I hit him and then I immediately hardened. Thin crust meat fest. Damn. That sounds nice. Is it a frozen pizza? Is that what you're having? Oh, did I, did I ever mention? I don't think I did. I don't think I mentioned it on stream. Uh, I was looking at... Uh-oh. Wait, where does this put us? That's a boss type enemy. See, he was going to grab me and I... Harden on his ass. I think I know where I am. I think this is a shortcut, right? Come on, attack, bitch. No, it's not. I don't think I've been here before. Did they just spit some shit at me? Oh, fuck. You gotta be real careful with these dudes. I fought them once already in boss format. Eat shit. Get r would Oh, that's nice. That knocks down. <laughs> it's very satisfying. Mm, 
I initially thought that this was a shortcut, but it's not. Pizza is life. So basically what happened, uh, we have our own version of like Uber Eats. It's called Net Pincer, which is like Net Waiter. It's an app. And I was looking to get something to eat. I was just flipping through. And I saw that there's this new pizza place in my town. And I'm like, whatever. I ordered like, well, it was for the family as well. I ordered like two pizzas and, you know, I was looking at the little, you know, timer thing on when your dude will arrive. Uh, and it said something like, something insane, like three minutes or something after the pizza was ready. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, there's no way this dude can get here in like three minutes. Literally 30 seconds later, my phone rings and the dude is here. And... Fuck, okay, I'm getting careless. It's like not even 30 seconds. He's calling me and he's like, I'm here. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I looked at the place and the, the restaurant is literally down the road. There's this new place. It's kind of hidden in a garage. And it's like, I think the total distance is like 150 meters from my place so i literally ordered a pizza the dude got into his car drove up the block and then deposited the pizza and i, I, I kind of felt bad i didn't give him a tip because i'm like no fucking way for that yeah so level design basically you have this <clears throat> this swamp area this is kind of the game's central hub oh shit this is where it puts you I knew it. This is, these are all shortcuts back to the initial area. That's cool. That's cool. I think, yeah, it's the game looks very solid for such a small team. Like, I can't fault any of the graphics, honestly. Oh, yeah, and what the, the last thing I was going to say is that uh, death mechanic-wise, this game is basically Sekiro. So... You saw that I got knocked out of my shell. Uh, you get turned into this, like, into your shell-less form. And you can run around. And you can still fight, but you get killed in one hit. And your main goal is to get back into your shell. So the last thing I'm going to check. This is the last weapon I'm missing. It looks like some like mace scythe type thing. So again, like it's basically Sekiro death mechanic wise. You get one free shot. And this is why okay, I know where this is. And you have this dude as well. This is an NPC. Look at him. He's like I don't know what this is. Oh, he has unique dialogue for each of the dudes? I didn't know that. Okay, I'm gonna, hella gonna try that. Oh yeah, and this is this is another one of those games where they definitely brought out the thesaurus when they wrote it. Hey, Souls Gamer, going really good actually. I, you were here during the first stream, right? I wasn't too hot on the game then, but now I'm sold. I 
Okay. Now that I know this. <laughs> exactly. Maybe not. Okay, now that I know that happens, I want to try all the other shells. Because you can just like switch between them. So let's see what happens. I want to listen to these. Now go get the weapon. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. So he doesn't have unique dialogues for all of them. I'll try the last one. Just to... Just to be, you know, on the safe side. Oh yeah, and this these are the character archetypes, by the way. So this is the kind of balanced dude. The one I'm inhabiting now, this is the fast one. See, he has like a different dodge. This is the tanky one. And the one I'm using is also kind of like a mix. I would, yeah. I mean, this game is 15 bucks, I think. Okay, okay. So he only has unique dialogue for that. Okay. I think it is, yeah. So again, this game is very cheap. I think 15 bucks, 100% worth it. Anyways, before I got distracted, what I was uh, gonna do is... I'm gonna go visit... Our merchant. And buy some healing items. Uh, okay, we need, we need rats. Is that how it worked? The first Witcher? Oh, and I haven't even shown the coolest part of this game. I'm gonna show it right now, right here. Look at this shit. As I said in the previous stream, where I had a duet with one of the enemies, you can literally duet with the enemies. Shred with them. Like in what other Souls game can you play the loot? Last of Us, eat shit. You ain't got nothing on this game. Well, you have to use your stupid touchpad in The Last of Us to control the guitar. Here he just jams automatically. So, you know, get on this game's level. Just trying to figure out which way we need to go because I've unlocked quite a few paths. You know, just not to get lost. I think this is where. Is this where I was going? I want to pick up the last weapon. Yes, this is it. Come on, attack. I'm liking this big sword, honestly. <laughs> it is. The hilt, the hilt is absolutely insane. I mean, look at that thing. Come on. Just gotta watch out with the stamina. Oh, I got hit. Oh, 
Oh fuck. Just watch out. The combo on it is nice though. It's like big swing and then You get moonshine as well. Also, in what other Souls game, well, I guess Dark Souls 3, can you get wasted? And getting wasted actually takes your HP. <laughs> uh, which is cool. Anyways. Alright, Andy. Thank you very much for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Ah, oh, shit. Misjudged the range. Same. Take it easy. Take it easy as I'm getting absolutely massacred by these assholes. Did you see? That was insane. Bonfire? Where? This game doesn't do bonfires. Not much. This ain't a bonfire game. That's the dude I had a duet with. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it again. We we got an achievement for it too. <laughs> Come on. Oh fuck. I thought I was out of range. I thought I was out of range again. Pop of Shroom. Other thing about this game, the iframes, even though dodging is kind of slow, the iframes are pretty insane. Oh, he put his guitar down. It is, yeah. It's slow combat, but... You know, we were just talking that maybe that's why I'm liking it. Uh, because... Every Souls game and every Souls like now is going for fast. Fuck. You know, everything is fast, 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 you know, Neo Bloodborne style stuff. Here is just nice and relaxing. Not so much relaxing, but you know what I mean. You get the idea. Oh fuck, didn't think that was gonna hit. Pop another shroom. These shrooms like don't heal for jack shit. Yeah, I was kind of in the corner there. Oh! Wait a second. I died already? Fuck. I think it's okay to be slow sometimes. I'm not sure if I'm sold on this weapon 100% now that I'm using it a little bit more. Or maybe I should go for... Here's an idea. Let's try it with the tanky guy. Maybe that will work better. I mean, it's only, only fitting, right? I'm going to be interested in this last weapon that we're going to get. I think this is going to be the faster one. What the fuck? Oh, why did it put me all the way back here? Shit. Are you kidding me? Did I not talk to the...
I think I didn't talk to the lady, the checkpoint lady, back in the other area, whatever. As I discovered in the previous episode, the age-old tactic of running past everything works in this game as well. Uh, there is no Souls game or Souls-like where running past everything doesn't work. This game is no exception. Yeah, it's on PS4. It, I think it's PS4 only at this stage. If I remember correctly. Somebody said during the last stream that it's coming to PC next year, like early next year. Hold on, where the fuck am I? Uh-oh. Okay, I know where I am. Fuck, get out, get out, go, go, go. Oh yeah, it's on Epic. You're right, it's, it is on Epic. Yeah, I remember. It was free too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I was mistaken. It's an epic. Yeah, I think where I screwed up is I didn't talk to her. Okay. Now we're... She's very sexual. I've pointed that out before. Her references. Okay, this is the dude I want to try this with. Look at the HP bar. This is my kind of HP bar. Okay, we can go back. I think it's worth checking out again for this price. Only thing is, uh, and I don't think this is a spoiler, people say... <coughs> Damn. Fucking Corona. People say that this, this is not a very long game uh, compared to like classic Souls. Okay, so the the homie's stamina is kind of lacking, as you can probably tell. There's a fucking fly in here. Awesome. God damn it. How the hell did a fly even get in here? Is it 30 bucks now? Because I got it for way less than that. Maybe it was on sale or something. No, 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 wait. Let me just quick maths the Hungarian currency of foreigns to other currencies. No, yeah, this may maybe it was 30 bucks. Knew it. Sorry to interrupt. Oh god, and it's the stupid kind of fly too. It's like bumping into everything. <sighs> I don't even see where it is. Whatever. Just hear it. It's annoying. Other thing I found out, and I keep doing it because I'm stupid, that going unlocked in this game... Oh, there it is. The motherfucker. 
It's a giant ass fly too. Yeah, anybody with ranged is as annoying as in any other Souls game. That has never changed. I think this guy with this weapon is a really good combo. I'm assuming like that certain weapons work better with certain classes. Shit. I just got it back. Okay. Let's stop being stupid. A pop a rat. And let's have a duet. Shit! Are you gonna seriously... Seriously interrupt my loot duet? Rude. Hey Nandos, what's up? All right, I'm almost, I'm almost back to where I died. That ranged guy wasn't there. It would be so much better. God, this fly is so fucking annoying. I swear to you. Oh, there's my body. Let me just get grab this. Holy shit. Are you kidding me? Just bumped into my TV. It is on my TV. Have you ever have you guys ever seen Breaking Bad? The fly episode? This is this. IRL. IRL on Twitch. Fucking hornets or wasps are even worse. Fucking hell, like, I'm just looking at it now. You can cook this shit, like, that's how big it is. It's like a meal for four. Did you hear that death cry? That was like the most pathetic death cry. Uh oh. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Is that a new... Hi. Oh shit. Uh oh. Okay, come out here to this big open area. Yeah, this is where... This is where we will duel. Spinning to... He's spinning to win. Yeah, 
He doesn't actually have that much HP. Thought it was gonna, this guy was gonna be a lot more dangerous. He's dead. And he's turning off. Okay. Oh shit, because he's like, well, you're dead, as, you're dead as fuck. Unfortunately, there are no gestures in this game, as far as I know. So I can't like point down, because that's what I would do right about now. All right. Let's see what we got. Cinematic intro, by the way. I think these are gonna be like the four main areas. Maybe. We've had two bosses. Uh, neither one were, was too difficult. Oh, that's the one thing uh, somebody said. I think, in fact, Vati uh, on Twitter, I saw. He said that one of the things about this game is that the bosses are not very difficult. But then again, I heard that people struggle with some of them, so who knows. You know, with these Souls games, it's, it's difficult to tell always. Because Holy shit, look at this place. That was unexpected. Eternal Narthex. That's, this is a very cool looking area. So we got the lady. Yes, brothers and sisters. Just as everything casts a shadow, so too does the spirit. And here they manifest. Reflection, birth from a broken mirror, a shattered place. Yeah, kinda. Alright. Can I get some ability? Air Dream is occasionally able to be... Um, the thing is I've never been knocked down. Maybe this will be like super useful. But I can't remember ever being knocked down. God, fuck this fly. But we can get the final weapon. So I think this is how it's going to go. I, we've discussed this, that this dude and the great sword, the other dude and maybe this weapon. If not this weapon, if I don't like this weapon that we're going to get right here, I'm going to use the uh, starting sword. The starting sword is really good as well. All right. Oh, fuck. I'm going to like this weapon. Oh shit, this might be a challenge. Because... This, this weapon is very slow. And his weapon is very fast. And there is no poise, apparently. What the hell was that? Can you not parry this fool? I don't think you can parry him. Oh, 
What the fuck is this? This is kind of insane. Not doing jack shit damage to him either. I think these two weapons are incompatible in a fight. We kind of have that too. In schools mainly for kids. We have this like afternoon like a little snack type deal okay this is like a struggle uh, maybe running attack is the key Eleven PM. It's ten PM here. Shit. Yeah. I was kind of expecting that. I think that might be the thing. Greece, yeah. Yeah, it, Greece is one hour ahead, yeah. Maybe that is the thing. Or maybe because this, this weapon is base level. Or it could be because... This to me feels... Uh, I'll try it one more time. Mainly because I really want this weapon. I mean, it doesn't do a lot of damage. Like, Been to Greece many times, many, many times. I think that might be like the attack to get him with because that does a lot of damage yeah I think that might be the thing to do here
I mean, hey, is it cheap? Kinda. Then again, not really, is it? Does it have multiplayer? Unfortunately, no. I don't know if that's one of the things they will introduce. Because my, my thought is, is that if they're planning for a 2021 Steam release, they, have, they must have some additional content in the works. That would be really interesting though. I think. You're right, it would lead to good mind games. Plus, you know, I've always said that the reason Dark Souls 2 was the best Souls for PvP was because it was so, like, kind of slower paced. Like, for PvP... Sometimes methodical is the way to go, you know. Oh fuck. He does get more aggressive as he start Hold on just one second. He was supposed to be frozen. I have this ability that Ah shit. Whatever. I can live without this weapon. I've decided. I've decided. Um, yeah. I'm gonna call the worm fish. Come eat me, bitch. My ear is itching. Never mind that. Maybe this is an... So what I was going to say, but I started fighting before I finished the thought, that just based on the appearance of this place, like before we came in, this might be a later game area. This might be the Anor Orlando of this game. I think... I mean, it looks and feels like the Anor Londo of this game. So one unfortunate thing is you cannot switch weapons on the fly. Uh, at least I don't think you can. Wait a second. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, yeah. You can just look at them. I was gonna say that would be amazing. Okay, here's the deal. I think what I'm gonna do is we'll piece out of here. And we'll actually go forward. Again, I can come back to this game. Not <laughs> this game. I can come back to this weapon anytime, really. Uh, I just need to decide which one I'm gonna do first. Which, like, area? I'll do it in the order I found them, I think. We can get started, you know? It did look like a cool weapon that we, he was using. Really? An Orlando? I mean, it's kind of annoying. I can't lie. But it's like such a key place in the game. I can't hate it too much. Fuck this fly, seriously. I can eat shit. This fly is gonna die, I swear. He ain't he ain't making it out of here alive. I'm just letting you know right now. 
I'm letting the fly know too. Yeah, Night Analondo is pretty cool. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> yeah, but in all seriousness, I do have to get rid of this fly. Yeah, it, it's nice. I wish there were more things to do in Night Analondo. I think that, that was one of the things uh, that... The Daughters of Ash mod got right. That there was like an actual set piece attached to, to it. With like the invasion of the Dark Raids. That's a pretty cool idea. They could have kept some things like that. Or not kept, but like they could have added some things like that. I know like Dark Souls is against like big set pieces most of the time. But... Damn, do you need set pieces sometimes. Yeah, I can see where you're coming from. Anolondo, I cannot deny, is... ...fairly annoying. Alright. Switch back to our trusty... ...trusty sword. And you know what? I'm gonna use some of these glimpse items. Uh... Because these actually allow you to level up. What is this? I have like a lot of shit. Glimpse of affliction. Oh, it recalls you back to Sister Janisa at the cost of all your glimpse. And I assume this is without losing your glimpse. Congealed tar. Oh, this must be like consumable souls. Right? Yeah, it is. Okay. I don't think I'm going to actually get enough to level up. But I will get enough for healing items. Alright. Alright. The age-old low battery problem, you know. Did I just walk around? Yeah, I did. Cool. Let's load up. Oh yeah. Other thing. Fall damage. This game has like Dark Souls 2 levels of fall damage. It's kind of insane. Uh, let's hit up the lady. Because I don't think I hit her up. Just so that we have a checkpoint here. I'll stick with this shell. I like this shell. Even though he is the... You know, I don't normally play these HP tanky type dudes. Th this guy is nice. Mm, was it this one? Yeah, that can happen. Older cell phones, the battery kind of doesn't like do you guys know that i still have a windows phone somewhere <laughs> yeah a nokia lumia that phone is fucking crazy the one nice thing about it is that it can take such a beating like you know classic nokia uh it just doesn't it just fuck just nothing happens to it come on Come on, aggro. Shadow of the Colossus, you know, he's like, oh, he's like, aggro. Oh, this weapon is so much better. Oh, 
Oh, I don't have a parry thing. I'm like, fuck, why can't I? But then I saw that I don't have a parry thing. So yeah, basically, the Nokia <laughs> that I still have, for some reason, uh, it was the old company phone that we used to have. And again, the phone itself, the device itself is good, but the Windows thing is very much not good. Like, Windows phones are just shitty, I think. Like, nothing works on them. Uh, and when we switched to Android and Samsung, they said that, you know, you can, you can take your... You can take your old phones home and then, you know, IT will have like this return policy and you can like buy it and you can bring it back. Bruh. Nobody has asked for that since. And it's been like two and a half years. Yeah. I think I honestly, a part of me thinks they did it so that you cannot like download a bunch of shitty apps onto your company phone. I can honestly imagine that's why they did it. Although, to be fair, when they got those phones, uh, it was when nobody really... Oh, shit. This is bad. You know, nobody knew what was going to happen with Windows phones. Like, Microsoft really just kind of... out of nowhere decided to fuck Windows phones, you know, and not care about them anymore. So I still have it somewhere. I wonder what would happen if I put it... Pretty much you, you turn that shit on and it, and it explodes, you know, that's like... But again, it was good because uh, it was indestructible. Like, nobody ever broke their phone. Like, I spoke, because I know the guy who does our phones on IT. And he said that now we're, like, constantly getting, hey, I dropped in and it broke. I, I don't know, I rolled over it with my car. You know, you know how it is. Before then... Ain't no problems. Okay, so this is where we're gonna go. I think this is a dungeon. This looks and feels like a dungeon. Sneaky little ambush. I like it. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's a good thing that Microsoft only makes plane simulators and not actual planes, you know. Oh shit, new enemy. That's what, that was one of my concerns, honestly. Initially. I was worried that there was going to be no... Like, enemies. Like, a variety in enemies. Shit. Come on. Okay, you either cannot parry this guy, or I'm like the worst parrier in the world. Fucking fly, it's like landing on me and shit. He's definitely dead. Oh, you can break his shield. It's more like it. That's more like it. Fuck you. Scripture of Repent. Yeah, you can parry. It's kind of weird feeling though, parrying in this game. Because again, it's slow. Okay, I have my shrooms. I'm gonna pop two shrooms.
There's 100% treasure down here. Oh fuck, what the hell? Make offering. Foundry. Whoa, hello. Okay, I'm taking damage. I'm in the fire. It's a fucking Dementor. Eat shit, Dementors. I was just reading the description of that foundry stone. What is that? Well, what do these do? And that's another gimmick of this game. That you can only find out what items do by using them. Weird, I can't find it. Oh wait. It's probably... Somewhere here. There it is. Foundry stone was once meant to alight a smoldering mace. But it was repurposed... Shrine of Ash served as a foundry one, blah 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 blah. This is like some weapon buff thing. So what does this do? Next pair refunds resolve on success. Okay. Makes sense. I'm so glad we have new enemies. I'm like really trying to parry. All right, Dallas. Fuck, I just got killed. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up anyways. Um I was gonna go on but then I died, so I'm like This is you know a cosmic signal or some shit. I really was gonna end it here because, you know, half an hour I mean not half an hour, hour and a half usually what I go for on weekdays. So yeah. I think I'll wrap it up here. This is a really good game. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Uh, this dungeon is going to be interesting. Luckily, you get to start from here again. So, it's all good. Thank you guys very much for watching. Next stream is going to be on Saturday. Until then, normal videos on YouTube. As always. Uh, the first episode or stream of this is going to be up too. So yeah, catch you on Saturday for the two-hour stream starting at 8 p.m. Central European time. All right. Peace out, guys, and see you.